Okay, Michaela crew, we are going on a road trip to Jersey. We're going to visit my friend Carolyn from Carolyn and Her Clothes. I will link Carolyn's channel below. I'm spending the weekend down there with her. What are we doing? You guessed it. We're doing some shopping tomorrow. Well, a lot of shopping tomorrow, of course, right? And tonight we're going to dinner at one of the local restaurants near Carolyn. So I'm really excited to go spend some time with her and of course, spend some money. So I'm from Connecticut. She's in Jersey. It should take me about two hours and 45 minutes, according to the GPS. Now we're expecting some heavy rain and winds and I've got to go through New York. So I'm expecting traffic to be a little bit heavier than usual. So I'm, I'm getting on the road now. Let's head down to see Carolyn and do some shopping. Well, I'm hitting Southern Connecticut and it's raining. So I think the rest of my ride is going to be a rainy, wet one. Hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully I don't hit too much traffic. As you can see, it's a good ride now. Let's hope it stays this way. I crawled through New York and now I'm crawling through Jersey. So I'm on the Garden State Parkway and we are not moving too fast. I just reached out to Carolyn to let her know that I am stuck, but hopefully it starts moving soon. Otherwise, we'll just have to be patient. You know, as long as we get there safe, we'll be good. Okay, so it's the weekend after my trip to Jersey, and I'm finally getting a chance to come on and fill you in on my trip. Now, it was a blast. On Friday, we went out to dinner. I got there a little bit later than I thought. My trip was five hours. It should have been three, but because of the weather, I was driving right into the rain and the wind, and so it lengthened my trip quite a bit, but it was totally worth it. So when I got there, we went out to dinner. We went to one of the local restaurants near Carolyn called Cousins? Cousins? I'm totally butchering the name. <laughs> it was something like that. But it was a really nice, trendy restaurant. You know, we don't have a lot of local restaurants near me like that. We have a couple, but they have a ton near her. And I was telling her how impressed I was. And she told me I hadn't seen them all. And she was joking that in Jersey, they don't cook and they don't pump their own gas because in Jersey, someone still pumps your gas for you. Now, I have a hard time with that. I don't know what it is. I'm a control freak. I want to pump my own gas. <laughs> So I told Carolyn, I said on Sunday, I'm waiting until I leave Jersey to fill up my tank because I want to pump my own. <laughs> but anyway, so Friday we had dinner and then Saturday we went to the King of Prussia Mall, which was a great time. That was my second time there. And it was a totally overwhelming mall once again, but we had the best luck at the loft. Go figure, we always tend to buy the most. I say always, but that was the second time we went to the mall together and we both purchased everything that we bought on the trip at the loft. So yeah, we really lucked out at the loft. Carolyn did too. So we tried to get some footage in Nordstrom and one of the workers at Nordstrom said we couldn't take there because it was private property. So we weren't able to get the footage that we wanted to there. We got a little bit in the loft dressing room and then Carolyn filmed her intro. So I filmed it with her at her house Saturday morning before we left for the mall. And then we got home Saturday night. We were tired. We went to bed a little bit early. I had to leave early Saturday or Sunday morning. I had to get back for my grandfather's 90th birthday lunch so I wanted to leave early enough and I didn't hit traffic it was a nice easy two probably two hour and 45 minute ride which that's what it should be but on a Friday afternoon in the rain in the wind it took me a little bit longer because I was going right into it but anyway let's jump in see what I got at the loft and I hope you check out what Carolyn purchased thank you Carolyn for your hospitality last weekend I had a blast and We'll do it again soon. I'm going back to Jersey soon, but I'm also trying to get her up here. We don't have the shopping that you guys have in Jersey, but we'll still have fun. Anyway, let's see what I picked up at the loft. This is Carolyn's dressing room. <laughs> and this is mine. I've got some stuff over here. 
let's try things on. to you guys. Now, this sweater I picked up in a previous loft haul and I wanted to exchange it for a large. At the time, my local loft store didn't have it and instead of doing it online, I just returned it and when we went to the King of Prussia loft, Carolyn spotted it in a large and I actually picked it up in a large petite and I'm really happy with the way that this one fits. Now, this one is 100% cotton. You can machine wash this in cold water and it was made in China. So, yep, I've already talked about it. You've already seen it, but we'll show it to you again. Um, it is a turtleneck, but it's not tight to my neck, which is nice. Um, you know, I don't like things too tight to my neck. I just feel like I'm getting suffocated if they're too close. Um, it, it, the neckline is ribbed. And then it's got the window pane style, which I really, really like. You can see it's not tight, it's not form fitting, um, but I don't think that this one looks too oversized. And then the sleeves. So the window pane style, it kind of has a drop shoulder. It does have a drop shoulder, as you can see there. And then the sleeves are ribbed and it's more of a three quarter length sleeve. So happy with this one. Let me show you the back. The bottom at the waistband is ribbed too. There's a small kind of um, lining of ribbing on the bottom. So I'm going to put on a pair of booties. I didn't pick them up at the mall, but I did order them from Carolyn's dining room table <laughs> because I was eyeing them. I wanted a pair of ivory or white booties. We saw them in DSW. Carolyn has the same ones and well, she already had them. She didn't purchase them that day. They didn't have my size and I'm like, maybe it's not meant to be, but I couldn't stop thinking about them. So later that evening, when we were at her house, I ordered them. So I'm going to show you them now because I think they might look nice with this top. So let me put them on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the sweater with the booties. The booties might be too much of a contrast. I was hoping that they pick up the ivory or cream in the window pane of the sweater, but I think it might be too much. You guys let me know what you think, but I love the booties. I really do. Can you see them? Well, you know what? I'm gonna turn the camera down and we'll talk about the booties and I'll show you close up. They're cute, they're very cute. All right, let me show you close up. Okay, so here are the booties. Aren't they cute? I really love the shape of them. Now, after I saw them at DSW when they didn't have my size, I had to order them online later that night because I just couldn't stop thinking about them. There's another item as well that I can't stop thinking about. Oh, it's this gorgeous leopard print jacket. Oh, I actually posted on my community tab a picture of myself in the jacket. I'm going to pop a picture on the side in case you missed that. I dream about that jacket. I've got to have it, but it's over $200. I almost splurged. I should have, but I didn't. And I just can't stop thinking about them, just like these booties. These were, I believe, with the coupon, just under $100, which is not a bad price for a pair of quality booties. These are by Mark Fisher, and I did stick with a size 8 in these booties, and I love them. I really do. So I like the shape of them. They have a pointed toe. They come up a little bit higher at the ankle, and then they do zip. Whoops. Let me show you. They have the zipper on the inside to help you get them on and off. And then they have that little bit of like stretch too in case you need that at the ankle. Thought they fit well. I haven't worn them around enough to know if they're gonna be comfortable, but this is not my first pair of Mark Fisher booties. I have a pair of Mark Fisher booties in tan and I have a pair in gray and I love them. And those are comfortable to me. I wear them to work and I'm running around at work quite a bit. And yeah, they're comfy. So I'm hoping these will feel the same happy with the style of these. I think I'll reach for them a lot. I was talking to Carolyn and I'm like, I don't know if I want white or like an ivory or cream. And she's like, go with the ivory because they'll go with a lot more. And I'm happy that I did. You know, I think they will go with this top. See, I was hoping they'd pull the, the cream from the window pane. Maybe I will wear it with this top. They're cute. I think I'll get a lot of use out of them. All right, I'll be right back and show you the next thing I purchased. Okay, so this next sweater I thought would be perfect for around the holidays. This sweater, I know it kind of looks like a cream sweater. Well, does it? I'll have to watch the footage back from where you are, but the party starts when you see 
the sparkles. How fun is that throughout? Now, at first glance, I thought, mm, this sweater might be a little bit itchy. It's not itchy on me at all. This sweater is made of 93% polyester, 4% other, and 3% spandex made in China. And you can machine wash this in cold water on a gentle cycle. Now, I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. I love the nice V neckline. The neckline itself is ribbed. And then I want to come super close so you could see. Look at how pretty that is. They had this in a tan as well with the gold, but I liked the ivory with the gold. What do you think? It does have some ribbing around the wrist area. Has a tiny, tiny like balloon sleeve to it. I like it. I'm a happy camper. The uh, waistband has a little bit of ribbing as well. So yeah, I think it's cute. You know, this would probably look cute with the ivory booties too. I think so. So maybe for like a casual holiday party or even like wearing to work on casual Fridays around the holidays leading up to Christmas and even like New Year's and through January when we just need a little bit of sparkle on those dark dreary days. This will be a good sweater for that. Let me show you the back of this one. Did I tell you I picked it up in an extra large? So I stuck with my normal size on this one. So yep, happy with this choice. I think it's super fun, super cute. All right, I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, so Carolyn and I are going to be twins because we both picked up this sweater. Actually, we're going to be triplets with Laura from Little Backs of Happy. Now, Carolyn was watching Laura's video as I was getting ready to go to the mall that morning. And she, Laura had posted a loft haul. So Carolyn was like, Kelly, you got to see what she picked up. This sweater was one of the pieces. And we both had to give it a shot. And we both ended up purchasing it. Isn't it a really cute sweater? This is made of 45% acrylic, 40% polyester, 10% nylon and 5% wool. You can machine wash this in cold water on a delicate cycle and it was made in China. Now I did stick with my normal size extra large with this sweater. I love the ombre effect of this sweater. I think it's really really fun. Um, it has a nice V neck and you can tell that it has the crochet detail too in some parts but it's not too sheer where you're seeing my skin or my bra or anything like that um, which is nice. I just think the color combination is really pretty. Now Carolyn Lynn actually picked up, oh no, she didn't pick those up. I was encouraging her to pick up a pair of leather pants that looked really nice with this sweater. You probably will see that in her portion of her try on, her dressing room try on. They looked really good on her. I'm an enabler and I was like, you gotta get them. They look really good. They match the sweater perfectly. She's like, Kayla, I can't justify them. She's a smart shopper. I've got to be more like her. She's like, I have a pair at home, which she did that was pretty similar to the ones that she was looking at. She did end up picking another color which were really nice on her too but anyway I want to pick up those pants so I'm gonna go back to the loft to see if they have them in my size and try them on because they looked really nice with this sweater isn't it a really nice sweater I love it um so it does did I talk to you about this sweater I'm just rambling huh I'm gonna go back and see and if I did I'll just delete what I'm gonna say next because I might have already said all right that. let me show you the back of this one It's shorter, but it's not too short. So, yep, it'll go with my tan booty. Oh, you know what? This will go with my ivory booties, too. So, I actually, I think, yeah, I made a good choice with purchasing those ivory booties. So, here we go. Let's go on to the next piece. Okay, so I was really drawn to the color of this next sweater. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love wearing jewel tones, especially around the holidays and in the winter. And I think this is a really pretty shade of green. Now, this sweater, I was really surprised about the fabric tag. It says it's 60% acrylic and 40% nylon. This doesn't feel that acrylic-y to me. I know acrylic-y is not a word, but we're going with it. I don't feel like it's going to stretch out or lose its shape very easily like acrylic typically does. So yeah, I was surprised about that. You can machine wash this in cold water on a gentle cycle, and it was made in China. I love the length of this sweater. I think it hits me at a good spot. I also love, you guys know, the nice V-neck. This will be nice with like a pretty sparkly statement necklace. I think I'm bringing my statement necklaces back this year because I miss them, and I haven't been pulling for them a ton so I think it's time I really do I go through phases you know I'm a statement necklace girl but then recently I was reaching for like the smaller like paper clip style necklaces or I've been reaching for the layer necklaces quite a bit too but I'm feeling my statement necklace is coming back um it does have some ribbing around the wrist area very very tiny ribbing and the same around the waist area too 
Yeah, I think it's cute. Let me show you the back. It's not a thick sweater either. So for days that you don't need a really thick sweater, this is good. Or if you live in a climate where maybe you don't get too cold. You know, last weekend when I went to visit Carolyn on Friday and Saturday, it was warm. Saturday, I think it was in the 70s. We spent most of our day in the mall, but when we were heading there, it was pretty warm. But now, like in Connecticut, we haven't hit, I don't even know if we hit 50 the past couple of days. So, you know, we need our sweaters at this point. And I'm excited to bring them out because I've been purchasing, you guys know, a lot of sweaters. But where was I going with that? <laughs> Where the heck was I going with that? I lost my train of thought. Oh, if you live in a climate that doesn't get really, really cold, this might be a nice sweater to add to your closet because it's not too, too thick. I believe it came in another color or two. I think red. I can't remember which other color I saw it in, um, but I like it. I think it's really nice. All right, I'll be right back. And I think that was it. We'll do a quick recap. Okay, so that was what I purchased during our shopping trip to King of Prussia. You know, we tend to have the best luck at the loft at King of Prussia. Now, it was only my second time there. Carolyn's been there a little bit more frequently than I have. But yeah, both times that we went together, we both purchased the most at Loft. So I'm really impressed with the Loft that they have there. Anything that I can find that's available on Loft's website, I'll go ahead and link below and I'll link those cute booties below too. I purchased them while I was in Jersey, even though I didn't purchase them at the mall. I made the purchase while I was sitting at Carolyn's table. So I'm happy that they came in time for me to share them with you in this video. So thank you to Carolyn for hosting me for the weekend. I had a blast. We always have fun shopping together and you gotta go check out what Carolyn purchased and see how everything looked on her. Again, I'll leave Carolyn's channel linked below. So go check her out. Thanks so much for watching and for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion.